Hello all. Welcome to part 4 of the router hacking video series on security tube. So in this video we will look at how to launch SNMP based attacks on routers. So the first question arises what is SNMP? Well SNMP or simple network management protocol is actually a very simple protocol used by network administrators to manage devices. So SNMP generally runs over UDP where the network administrator can have an SNMP manager which queries the SNMP enabled network devices such as routers, firewalls, VPNs etc. for various running configuration information. Also at times SNMP devices can be configured in order to be uh, in order to allow various configuration changes via the SNMP manager. So uh, you know as in the previous series we will use the open source Viata router for all our demos. So hopefully you set up Viata. Uh, let's log in to Viata and look at the exact configuration uh, which might lead to SNMP based vulnerabilities. So we go ahead run the show configuration command and then in protocols we see that SNMP is enabled and the community string is public and even more worrisome is that the authorization is read write. So what does this mean? Well this basically means that the device is capable of receiving SNMP commands by an SNMP manager and the community string which is basically uh, you know the authentication kind of authentication password used in SNMP is set to the default value public which is generally true for most out of the box devices. Also the authorization given to the SNMP manager using the public community string is read write which actually means that an SNMP manager can not just read configurational information on the router but also change it. So I leave it as an exercise to you to configure SNMP on Viata so that you can conduct this demo yourself. Now let's go ahead and go to our backtrack instance to launch an SNMP attack. So we go ahead and enter the pen test enumeration SNMP check directory where we are going to run the SNMP enumerator tool called SNMP check. So the thing of quick interest to us uh, in SNMP enumerator is that we need to provide the IP address or range which we already know and minus C is basically the SNMP community string. The default value is public which is what has been set on the router so there is nothing to worry about. Now in a later video we will show you how to brute force the SNMP community string using Metasploit. However in this video uh, you know we will assume that it is one of the default strings based on the device. So now let's go ahead run SNMP check hyphen T 192, 168, 121, 252 which is the IP address of our router and then let's pipe it to less. So as we can see SNMP enumerator tried to connect to the router and then successfully connected and from here on the output which you are seeing is the actual information pulled out of the Viata router over SNMP. So as we can see there is a lot of interesting information such as uptime, uh, you know then we have hardware and storage information, uh, you know a lot of interesting stuff virtual memory, cached memory the devices which are there, the various interfaces, right? even the processes which are currently running on the router, this is pretty interesting. And here is the detailed network interfaces part which can be pulled out, here is the routing information. Now as you can imagine there is a lot of information which an attacker can use uh, for further attacks. We also have the listening TCP and UDP ports. So well what we really wanted to prove in this demo is that if a weak community string is chosen which can be easily guessed or is the out of the box default one then using tools such as SNMP enumerator 
it is easily possible to pull out information from the router. Now, unbelievably, a lot of devices, not just routers, are vulnerable to SNMP based attacks. Now, a misconfiguration could be uh, to actually allow the SNMP manager to connect to the router from any interface, which would also be the outbound interface towards the internet, in which case an attacker anywhere on the internet could pull out this information. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you really want to learn more, I would encourage you to download Viata, install and run SNMP on it, and then try out SNMP check yourself. I would really appreciate if you can leave a comment behind as this encourages me to make more videos. That's all. Thank you.